When Chinese sexologist Li Yin was looking for top-level government support for same-sex marriage in the early 2000s, she asked the then mayor of Beijing, Wang Qishan, a friend, for help. But rather than getting a shocked response, Wang simply shrugged his shoulders, Li told Reuters. He told me he looks after garbage collection, water pipes, that sort of thing. Same-sex marriage isn't up to him, said Li, who works for the government-run Chinese Academy of Social Sciences. That's the problem in China. Who is in charge of this stuff? After decades of communist prudery about sex of all kinds, during recent years of economic reform and growth, gay Chinese have sprung forward to reclaim the country's long history of relative tolerance towards homosexuality. With no clear, bureaucratic way forward to legalize same-sex marriage, unlike in Taiwan which approved the step last month, and deeply conservative attitudes among the older generation towards sex, Gay Chinese are pushing against old social norms and legal uncertainty to assert their rights. Until 2001, China listed homosexuality as a mental disorder, but it is not illegal to be gay. Many big cities have thriving gay scenes, although gay men and women still face family pressure to marry and have children, fulfilling the Confucian tradition of honoring ancestors by ensuring the family line. While Taiwan's decision paving the way for same-sex couples to marry was largely ignored by the mainstream Chinese media, it got big play on social media, with many supportive comments. Next week, China's cosmopolitan business capital Shanghai will host its ninth gay pride event, four days of films, talks and parties, though without a parade that accompanies such events in other cities around the world. Evie Wu, Shanghai Pride's director, told Reuters that about 6,000 people were expected to attend. For the 10th anniversary next year, organizers hope to hold Pride events in other cities, including Beijing. People have told us that attending Pride has led to them accepting themselves, that they have a community and that they are not alone. That's inspired us to continue, Wu said. If you like this video please leave a like and subscribe.